Russian fortifications. It's located between the northern slopes of Papuk and the northern slopes of Krindia. People tell many stories about it. One legend explains how Ruzhitsa... Mammoths. Big hairy elephants. Whoa! <laughs> There's nothing to be scared of. All these things are expected. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Please stay calm. Though we are losing altitude, stay calm. Stay in your seat. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Safely, safely. No problems. No problems at all. Whoa! Whoa, this was close. Don't worry, we are safe now. As you can notice, we are deep in the sea, 14 and a half million years ago. This epoch is called Miocene. Now the Papok area involves neither mountains nor forests. It represents the bottom of a great ocean called Parafitis, which stretches along the center of the European continent. Too bad we can't host tourists now, we would earn a lot. Nevertheless, people are not going to appear for another fort. Oh, watch out! Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. This is our Magda. She always performs this kind of tricks. Magda is a megalodon, an extinct species of colossal sharks that lives in this period. How long are they? Over 18 meters. They weigh 50 tons, about as much as five buses. Magda, go away. Stop bothering us. <laughs> Look at the size of this fish. The Pannonian Sea covered the territory of many Central European countries. Gradually, this lake receded, turned into a puddle, and finally, even Magda's tooth cannot fit in. What's the life in the Pannonian Sea? It's very tight. There are lots of animals and very little space. And this is Leo, a whale from the Leviathan genus. He often competes with Magda for food, because they are of similar size. <laughs> he is not small, eh? And this is Maya, a seal from the Miocene. You can see her herd over there. They are sunbathing on the cliffs. Oh, Magda, what do you want again? I know, you want to show us your teeth. Okay, show us. Your teeth are 14 centimeters long. It's like a kitchen knife. Do you know that the name Megalodon means big tooth? Well, now you know. <laughs> Magda, enough talking about you. We have to show them Stanley. And who is Stanley? Not only the continents are changing, but also life on Earth. Many animal species became extinct in the period of the major extinction event. But life, life has begun to recover. Bit by bit, year by year, and hop, after 20 million years, the first dinosaurs emerged. And we all love them, don't we? Look at these flying reptiles. It will be fun to ride them on your way to school. What a cute dinosaur. It's one of the first sauropods. It's a herbivore and not very big. At least not compared to the dinosaurs that will come later in the Jurassic period. Oh, look at this sweet carnivore. Come closer, don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. <laughs> He's not afraid. Where are you, boy? Here's another one, and another one. He brought his friends, oh, many friends. Oh, they are taking the time machine. We have to move on quickly. We have arrived in the Carboniferous. This is the time of major tree and animal evolution. The Carboniferous period is, as the name itself suggests, a core-bearing period when enormous amounts of coal were generated from swamp forests. In the vegetation sense, it was the time when some today unknown ferns and equistales were growing. The Carboniferous is the era of insects and giant millipedes. Insects and moisture are everywhere. Not really a pleasure to be here. Everything is buzzing, flying, crawling. To sum up, everything is annoying. Look at this one. Move away! Go! Go! 
Oh no, 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 no. The time machine has gone crazy. We are traveling backward in time very fast. Ah, here we are. Let me introduce to you...